In the mid-19th century, the United States was swept up in the fever of the gold rush. People flocked westward in search of gold, and some managed to amass great fortunes. But historians tell a different story. The ones who made the most money weren't the gold miners themselves, but the ones selling pickaxes and shovels. 200 years later, we are witnessing yet another gold rush, the AI era. People have rushed toward this new gold mine, artificial intelligence. Innovative AI-driven technologies are being discovered every day. But once again, the biggest fortunes aren't being made by those mining the gold. In this AI era, the real gold is not AI itself. It's semiconductors. As the name suggests, a semiconductor is a material that conducts electricity, but only slightly. It's neither a full insulator, which blocks electricity, nor a full conductor, which allows it to flow freely. It exists in between. Its greatest strength is the ability to control the flow of electricity. Apply voltage, and electricity flows. Cut the voltage, and it stops. Just like flipping a light switch, a semiconductor acts as an incredibly tiny on-off switch for electricity. Using this principle, semiconductors convert and store information as zeros and ones, enabling complex calculations. From smartphones to computers and AI algorithms, the foundation of all modern technology lies in this tiny switch. But if semiconductors only worked as basic on-off switches, the AI revolution might never have happened. There's a hidden secret inside semiconductors that makes all of this possible. That secret is the transistor. Inside a semiconductor chip, no bigger than a fingernail, there are millions, no, even billions, of transistors packed tightly together. Like a faucet controlling the flow of water, a transistor precisely regulates the flow of electricity. The more transistors there are, the faster computations become, and the more energy efficient the system gets. That's because each computation requires significantly less energy. Ultimately, the key to semiconductor technology is how small transistors can be made and how many can be packed onto a single chip. Today, we have already reached the nanometer scale, the so-called nanometer wars. For the past decade, semiconductor manufacturing companies, known as foundries, have been at the center of these wars. In 2014, TSMC successfully commercialized the 20 nanometer process, taking the lead in the technology race. Then came 16 nanometer, 10 nanometer, 7 nanometer in 2018, 5 nanometer in 2020, and now the battle has moved to 3 nanometers. Leading companies like TSMC and Samsung Electronics are still pushing transistor density to the extreme. One nanometer is just one hundred thousandth the thickness of a human hair. It's nothing short of an engineering marvel. The technology that made this miniaturization possible is called photolithography. It works like taking a photograph, etching intricate transistor patterns onto a silicon wafer. By using laser-like light to imprint ultra-precise patterns on silicon, engineers have been able to shrink transistors to astonishingly small sizes. But at this point, an inevitable problem arises. As transistors shrink to the extreme, they reach the quantum realm. And the biggest challenge? Quantum tunneling. Quantum tunneling occurs when electrons, despite lacking enough energy, pass through barriers they shouldn't be able to cross. In simpler terms, it's like walking through a solid wall without breaking or climbing over it. It sounds impossible, but in the quantum world, it's very real. Since electrons have wave-like properties, there's a probability that they can suddenly jump past barriers. This means that when transistors become too small, electrons no longer follow their designated paths and begin leaking into unintended areas. As a result, even when a transistor is switched off, electricity can still flow through, causing major malfunctions. This challenge was unavoidable from the moment semiconductors entered the nanometer era. Fascinating, isn't it? Right here in the very devices we use every day, a battle with quantum mechanics is already unfolding. To combat quantum tunneling, Samsung introduced a new approach starting with the 3 nanometer process, replacing the traditional FinFET design with gate all around technology. GAA transistors encapsulate the current carrying channel on all sides. It's like enclosing the channel in a tunnel to prevent current leakage. This method effectively suppresses quantum tunneling, but this comes at the cost of significantly increased manufacturing complexity. Samsung's 3 nanometer process has faced criticism for low production yields. Meanwhile, TSMC has focused on refining its FinFET technology, where the transistor's current channel is wrapped on three sides, allowing it to maintain stable yields through the 3 nanometer node. However, even TSMC recognizes the limitations of FinFET and plans to adopt GAA technology, starting with the 2 nanometer process. 
In the end, the semiconductor war is entering a fierce battleground, the quantum realm. Just as the gold rush of the 1800s fueled westward expansion and in new industries, 21st century innovation may have already begun, inside the tiny chips in our hands.